Hi everyone, so today I'll show you guys how to properly balance the gimbal. We will have a classic Sony a7 III camera, and for bigger cameras like RED or FS7, we will have specific tutorials later. Alright, before balancing, just make sure one last time that you have everything on there that you're gonna actually need for the shoot. So for example, ND filters, or cards, and also of course a battery. The new access lock are sturdy and solid. You can lock and unlock each access. Besides for transportation, this function can help you to concentrate on the balancing of each individual axis if you need. Let's get started! Attach your camera to the gimbal and lock it in place by tightening the plate screw like so. To balance your gimbal, you just got to observe how your camera leans and then move your camera setup into the opposite direction. Let's start with balancing the tilt. This is the arm that moves the camera up and down. If your setup leans forward, move it back. If your setup leans backwards, move it forward. To do that, simply loosen the screw under the plate and move your camera setup to a position you feel is almost balanced. Next, point the camera up so the lens faces the ceiling. If it leans back, lift the tilt arm up. If it leans forward, bring the tilt arm down. To do that, simply loosen the screw on the tilt axis. Then, just keep adjusting until the camera is balanced on its own. Now, let's balance the roll axis, which rolls your camera either to the left or to the right. Just like before, observe where your camera leans and move it to the opposite direction. If your setup leans to the right, adjust the roll axis arm to the left. If your camera setup leans left, adjust the roll axis arm to the right. To do that, simply loosen the screw on the roll axis and move your setup to where it is mostly balanced. Once balanced, tighten the screw on the roll axis. You may need to check the tilt and rebalance if necessary. And finally, let's balance the pan axis, which pans the camera to the left or to the right. Lean the entire gimbal forward slightly towards the right. If the gimbal swings counterclockwise, you'll need to move the pan arm forward. If the gimbal swings clockwise, you'll need to move the pan arm back. To do that, simply loosen the screw on the pan axis arm and move your camera setup to a position where it is mostly balanced. You may need to repeat this process until your camera setup remains in its position. Once all axes are balanced and locked, you can turn on the gimbal. As we can see, here the balancing was a success. The gimbal is now ready to do its magic. And one little thing I see often, people start when they have a 24-70 zoom lens on there and start balancing, they start with the 24mm focal length. And then they start shooting and then they see, oh, there's a close-up, so then now I'm gonna go for 50 or 70. And then the camera starts to shake a little bit, and that's because the gimbal needs too much power to counterbalance it. And usually, when you change focal lengths, you have to rebalance it. But if it's a shot that you cannot repeat again, of course you don't want to stop and rebalance and then shoot. So I would recommend to, when you have a zoom lens on, try to put the focal length somewhere in the middle of both extreme ends. So if you change to 24 or 70, the weight shift is not that big again. So start calibrating with somewhere in the focal length in the middle, and then the gimbal doesn't need too much power to counterbalance it, and you might just get away with it. Perfect, now you can create those stunning moving pictures. But trust me, don't do it yet. Check out our upcoming tutorials and see how to fully unlock its potential.